What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. A game that is as brutal as it is beautiful. But nevertheless, I don't want to talk too much. We've got to be quiet. So, shh. The name is Mad Max. And I hope you enjoy the show. And guys, we did a couple things. We, uh, we turned off some indicators and try to make this a little bit more difficult for ourselves. But that also means I have no idea where I'm going to go. I think we'll have an objective indicator, so it kind of points us in the right direction. But it's not going to help us any more than that. Let's look like you pick that box up. Maybe not. Who's there? The great horned owl. An owl's face may look silly to us, but it actually makes them great listeners. The shape of their faces directs sound waves into their ears, and because they can turn their heads nearly all the way around, they can hear the smallest of sounds. I did not know that. That is awesome. Tim G, 6th grade. That's a pretty good drawing, Tim. It's all cute stuff. Okay, I don't know if I can... Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's those assholes. Dude, what if you, like, threw a can at them? You know what I mean? That would be awesome. How the hell did he get an AR? I want one. I don't know if we can walk a little faster. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Easy. I know, we gotta find the dang train tracks. We found them. We need to find some pills. It looks like we're not gonna be able to cross this, though. I hear it. I think we're being hunted. We gotta find a plank. Oh crap. Are you flipping kidding me? Large amounts of dust in a specific area can raise the amount of asthma stress. Try to avoid it, and if you can't, try to limit your time in it. So how do we see the dust? Oh, we're in it right now. Okay. Um. Now this sucks. This definitely sucks. Everything. This girl's not going to make it very long. Oh. Look, there's a plank right there. Jay, you were busy when I got in, but I just wanted to say thanks for your concern the other day. I'm still waiting to get a new inhaler, 
but at least I got some pills for now. The pills aren't as effective as an inhaler, but they're better than nothing. I'll have them nearby in case I have another episode. Promise. Raphael. Yeah, we know about that already. I mean, that looks like a plank. Maybe they're outside? Maybe that's a plank. That is not a plank. Got a basement. Alright, let's go ahead and charge this back up. That's better. Maybe inside this gate? Oh, we need a key for that. Was there a key in here? I mean, can we take these? Are you flipping kidding me? I have walked all around the outside of the house. I walked back over to the gap in the train tracks. And there it is, look at that. That is ridiculous. Alright, let's uh... We're gonna go ahead and... Charge this. And get some batteries. That's locked. Just say, guys, I took the large plank out of the pile for a reason. Until we get this built, we need to use that plank to cross the gap. Don't like it? If you got a better plan, I'm all ears. Until then, use the damn plank. Jay. Well, how do I get the plank over there? God bless it. I keep freaking stepping on everything. That door is locked. We picked up a key. I mean, does that mean we gotta... We gotta go back over? Our flipping lungs hate us. So we gotta find a key to that door now.
Maybe up here? Why would you put a lock on the outside of this door? We are so loud. Oh, I hear it. I hear that thing outside. I don't see it though. Alright, we gotta put it down. We gotta put it down. hear it but I don't see it oh my god we're being so loud Our footsteps are so loud. That's better. Okay. I need to take another puff. Oh, thank... Oh, my God. I wasted a puff. Sort of. That is insane on how much our freaking lungs hurt. Go that way or not. Might be some pills over here. Oh my god, dude, we're being so loud. got a gold one we need some pills though
in heaven. Oh my god, I almost screamed like a little schoolgirl. Oh, hold up, guys. Hold up. Oh, yep. 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 It's okay, Alex. We got this. We're almost through this. I hope. Damn it, the train tracks are blocked. I gotta find a way through the forest. I don't want to go through the forest. We make so much noise. We are not stealthy. So what, I gotta go that way? Okay. I don't really want to go in this direction. Looks like we can kind of walk a little bit louder though. Maybe not. God. was Mark, right? That was Mark? Okay. It said don't move through the tall grass. Does he have a gun we can take? Look, we're just gonna follow his path. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's right there. Come on, chill out, Alex. Chill out, Alex. Bless it. No! Oh, we're gonna die again, guys. We are freaking out. 
Easy, Alex. Come on. Come on, Alex. Don't do it. Don't do it, Alex. God, guys. Please don't jump down. Just let me get past you. Oh, he's going to come back down. God. Oh no. God bless it, man. Did he chase something else? Oh my god. Guys. That was absolutely insane. I mean, the two times I died, it's just because he walked on top of me. I was being quiet. Y'all saw it. I was being super quiet. At this point, I don't know if I need to keep the mic on. I'm going to die every time we got to face those things. I don't know if we can walk a little normally now. Oh, there's sand. I like the sand. We can walk a little bit louder. All right, we gotta cut through the house. Is that what that says? We're gonna flip and run into Laura is what's gonna happen. They both go to bed with the sun. I'll unlock the door. See you then. So what, now we gotta find a key? That sucks.
Oh my god, are we in a freaking soundproof room? Oh my god, guys, thank you so much. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. We're still hot, though. Oh god. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Do we need to take one of those? We don't. Let's light a candle. Oh god, I can talk to y'all finally. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's just stay in here forever. Don't need that. I mean, in reality, I guess we could... No, it's still green. But I mean, we might as well, right? Just keep it charged all the way. I don't know if we gotta come back through here or not. Okay. So, what do we do now? Just go through the house? Oh god, oh, I guess I gotta get that out, I just gotta get my voice out. <laughs> I just gotta get some of this, this energy out real quick. And I'm pretty sure I can talk to you guys fairly normally. I just, I get nervous. I get really, really nervous. I mean, basically, I just can't do, again, those... Those really, really stupid, uh... You know, my gas... Ooh. I can't do my gasp. Those tend to... Okay, into the house. Oh god, we need it to rain again. Is someone else here? Laura, Dad, I can't risk it. Just get back to the tracks. Sounds like that thing's on the roof. And I think, I think we can walk around fairly normally. You know, it's when you want to carry around like one of those droppers of WD-40. There's a bear statue out there. What is that? You know, guys, I'm going to look around. I just can't help myself. Ignore my voice. It sucks. We gotta figure out how to listen to those. I haven't tried yet. 10 one ten. Mom and Dad are such dorks. They got me a cake to celebrate winning the Youth Poetry Prize and Mom saying happy birthday, but with the lyric, happy winnings to you, which doesn't even make sense. The cake had probably a hundred candles on it, and Dad lit every single one. When I asked why, he said that, this is a really big deal and deserves a big celebration. They really are dorks. 10 to 10. It's 2 a.m. I just realized why mom wanted to sing happy birthday. She thought it might be her last chance to sing to me. What? 10 3 10. Spent half the day going through my poems with dad. I wanted to use the prize money to put a book together, but I don't know. Reading through them again, I just don't like them any of them. Dad thinks it's just the pain I'm in that's messing with my mood. He might be right. 10-6. Been out of it the last couple of days, so I just rested, and rested, and rested. I remember when my friends would come and visit, when everyone was like, you just need some rest. You'll be back on your feet in no time. It's been months since I saw Dylan. 
Even longer since Rachel. I guess it gets old watching your best friends die. Okay. Enough of that dark BS. Now for the good news. Mom and Dad spent the last two days organizing my poems into a first draft of my book. It's way too short right now, and they told me to not read it until I'm feeling better. But they think it's going to be something really special. I know they're my parents, and supposed to be supportive and whatever, but I don't know what the F I'd do without them. Been in the hospital, too drugged and effed up to even write. They wanted me to stay longer, but if this is it, I want to be home. I want to be with my stuff in my room and go to sleep in my bed. I want mom and dad to tuck me in like they did when I was five, and I want to believe that I'm going to wake up to the smell of dad's maple bacon pancakes and the sound of mom singing a whole musical all by herself. That's what I want. So that's what's going to happen. 1022. I just want. Dude. Guys, again. Who wrote this freaking game? You're gonna make me tear up. You're freaking tugging on my heartstrings. Oh no. I don't know if I can walk across that. It's the mom. Or so it looks. Easy. Easy. I was waiting on something to bust through that freaking garbage of a barricade. I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, we can get onto the roof. I mean, was that the whole point? It's Laura. Don't you freaking do it, Laura. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Yes, oh my god, why is it finally just now giving me a throwable? Throwing objects can create a temporary distraction. They can also break obstacles and even open new paths. You decide if it's worth the risk. Yeah, but where do I go? Where do I go? Oh no. Where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? This dude's pissed. I bet I gotta put a freaking... Yeah, look, you're gonna have to put a, uh... What is that thing called? A plank? Freaking Laura and her gun. That jerk face.
Now I'm in dust. I don't think I can even walk normally. That's obstructed. There's the plank. I stored that thing and I don't know where I stored it oh my god I just hit that freaking thing in the face. God bless it. I still can't get in there.
Please tell me I'm out of this. Please tell me I'm out of this. Holy, oh my god, guys. I'm so sorry I didn't talk. My freaking heart was pounding. I didn't want to make a noise. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. All right, we got a diary entry. Let's fix that. And I haven't like read any of these. I can't look back. Jesus Christ, the hospital is lost. How the hell am I supposed to? Okay, I need to focus. Dad, I can't lose you too. It's a nightmare. Indeed, this is. F this shit. First Laura, then that creature. It's getting worse and worse. She had a gun, but she can't hurt me, right? Not as long as I'm expecting her grandchild. I'd rather go alone than let her take me. Let's just keep moving. Holy crap, guys. I'm so sorry. I, I know it's in moments like that. I think I might actually turn the mic off. Because, I mean, it looks like no matter what we face this creature, he's he's going to eat me. So I think for for the sake of me just being able to talk to you guys freely, I'm, I'm going to turn the mic feature off. All right, we know the tracks are loud. Or at least I think they are. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to be able to talk to you guys like in full full force because that was that was nerve wracking. I, I, <laughs> that was probably. Oh, my God. I'm just I'm just going to stop talking just for a minute and just let my brain collect its thoughts. My brain's not working at the moment. I wonder if I can actually just freely kind of walk a little bit faster at this point. Kind of looks like I can. What just happened? Oh, it's the map. It's the map. Oh, guys. I feel so much better that I can talk to you guys. Like, <laughs> oh. Okay. My brain's going to start working. So we're here. And we got to go to the welcome center. What's wrong, girl? Oh, dude, we're remembering, uh, what's his name? Martin. Oh, what, what is this? <gasps> oh, no. We are remembering Martin. Alex? You feeling better? Yeah. You know, in this light, yeah, Laura's pretty dang amazing. hot. Everyone gets overwhelmed sometimes. You get to head back? Sure. I mean, dang. All right, we got something good for a minute. A good memory, maybe? A hope? I mean, that's a good me- <laughs> I'm done talking. Where's Martin? I told him to go do the dishes. Oh. During your attack, he didn't know what to do with himself, so I... gave him something to do. Got it. He really cares about you. He's never seen me like that. But you had asthma when you were little. Mm -hmm. It was different. And I had it under control by Mother Small. When did it come back? More than that. What is this? Where's it at? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Huh. Can I run? I can't. Well, I know you keep leaving me. I kept you going. I was pregnant with Martin. I had to keep going. Dude, look how pretty this is. Imagine what games are going to look like, guys, and like... I mean, they look amazing now, but... Hey, um, please don't tell me that. The new generation of cards are coming out. My lips are sealed. Unreal Engine 5 is in full swing. Just imagine. You see last night's game? A clown show. I mean, it'll be a miracle if they make the playoffs. Hey, Alex, single or double? Single. 
Thanks, Robert. I live to serve. And don't you forget it. Never mind me. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. And that's our dad right here to the right, right? How you doing, Dad? Good birthday so far? Dad? Hmm? Fine, sweetheart. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, are you all right? You look pale. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I just, um... Alex, you mind grabbing the beer? Not at all. Sure. Laura, always the lifesaver. I'll say thanks when I bring her the beer from the van. Suit yourself. There's a case in the back of the van. And it better be full when he gets here. Just because you're in college doesn't mean you're legal. <laughs> I'm going to just freaking chug it. Ooh, there's a shotgun. Why was it that everyone called her when she was little? A tuneful technician. <laughs> That's it. Julia gave her that nickname. Where the hell do I put this? You put it right here. About him driving a car, let alone flying a plane. There we go. Hey, Alex, can I uh, uh, talk to you for a sec? I guess. Yeah, that was that's kind of frustrating. Oh well. What you need, dog? Hey. Hi. I just wanted to say. I, I know. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't know that you. It's okay, really. I just. I, th I thought you'd laugh. You know, on the plus side, you get to brag to all your friends at school. I do? Yeah. You can tell them that you finally took a girl's breath away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I kind of missed you this year. Yeah? Yeah. Martin? I can't find the bottle opener. Can you? On it. <sighs> Want to help me look? Sure. Yeah, I don't I don't think mom likes us together even right now. It's a nice TV though. <gasps> what is that? Can we pick that up? Yes. Is it just me or has he gotten even cuter? God, focus Alex, find the bottle opener. It's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah. Hey, uh... I don't suppose they could use a hammer instead? Not unless they want bits of glass in their beer. Ooh, crunchy beer. Delicious. You're an idiot. You just pop it open on the freaking side of the table. Or with your teeth. What's this? Red. Ooh, I like red velvet cake. Two cups of flour. F this. <laughs> okay. What are we looking for? A bottle opener? All right, dude, you haven't even moved from this spot. You're like one of my own kids trying to look for something. There it is. Ooh, what's this? Holy shit. I can't believe you have this. Sprained Heart by Alice Carroll. It's my mom's. Do you have any idea how rare this is? You think I'd like it? If you like my music, you'll love theirs. They're like my biggest inspiration. Can I hear it? No. Uh... Will Laura mind if we play it? I meant your music. What? what? Come on. He's it's freaking been a flirting. Long time since I've heard you sing. You mean now or? <laughs> Why not? I mean, I just wasn't planning on it and I haven't warmed up or. <sighs> no, screw it. We're about to start all singing. All is quiet, <laughs> all is calm. Oh, the storm isn't gone. See the sun, catch my breath. Oh, I know what comes next. Just a moment, I feel warm. In the eye of a storm. Alex. That was pretty dang good. Anyway, if you liked that, you're gonna love their stuff. It's so cool that you have it on vinyl. I, I, I want to show you something. No, I don't want to see it. Come 
Come on, slowpoke. Upstairs. Oh, God. I don't want to see it. So much for the bottle opener. Will you slow down? Do you want to give me another asthma attack? Hey, I'm always down to take your breath away. Where does guy go? Find the, um, the, the hook ladder thing? Oh my god, dude, do I gotta do everything for you? It might be in my bedroom. Wait here, I'll get it. Oh, no, 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 no. This time, I'll run off. And who knows, I might even plan some incredibly stupid prank. Oh, god, I thought you were over that. I don't know where his bedroom is. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Uh, we'll just try here. Nope, that's the bathroom or laundry room or whatever the hell that is. That's not it. Maybe it's the one he's standing next to. Nope. Maybe this one. Oh, look at that. It's a sweet air conditioner. I want one like that. What am I looking for again? A letter? Miss Edwards, June 1st, 2020, Miss Edwards, while my client, Mr. Riley, appreciates your offer of 250,000 as compensation for the injury you caused him on September 22nd, 2018, in the Kids Are Skill Forest, we believe that this sum does not account for the severe emotional trauma Mr. Riley has suffered on a daily basis since the incident. When we agreed to settle out of court, it was contingent on you compensating Mr. Riley with a sum that not only covered his medical bills, but took into account his reduced quality of life. On my client's behalf, I request that you send over a new offer in the next 30 days or we will have no choice but to take this matter back to court. I will be sending the same notice to your legal representative, Deanna Hegel. Respectfully, Tess Gust, law firm of Gust and Associates. So we just walked into the parents' bedroom. What's this? Magazine cover, Thrill of the Hunt, monthly. Good kill hunting, an interview with Laura Edwards about the positive impact of hunting. What a jerk. An exclusive recipe for the best homemade jerky. Practice, practice, practice. 10 tips for getting the most out of target practice. An interview with Laura Edwards by Bradley Acevedo. It's all about balance, states Laura Edwards. We sit for lunch service at a steakhouse for her choosing, her hands sitting gently on the first place trophy she just won at the annual Big Bear Hunt in her very first year of competition. The concept of death would be too much to bear if it wasn't for new life. And for there to be new life, there must be death. She leans forward in our booth and stares at me in such a way that I can imagine her centering me within the scope of her rifle. I do not hunt for pleasure or for fun. I hunt to maintain balance. If a predator was to become too dominant, it could lead to chaos for entire ecosystems. I love nature. When I hunt, I'm protecting what I love. That's all. Despite the intensity of her gaze, I address the elephant in the room. If you're not doing it for fun, then why enter a competition? I notice Miss Edwards' fingers almost imperceptibly grip her trophy as she replies, There's nothing wrong with taking pride in your job. And I must say I agree. Laura Edwards, who has dedicated her career to wildlife management and regularly advocates for the protection of natural ecosystems, is very, very good at her job. Every year, Miss Edwards looks at the populations of various local species and only hunts the ones whose numbers are growing at an unsustainable rate. As we finish our meal, I ask Miss Edwards one final question. If nature ever did achieve perfect balance, would you stop hunting? She smirks knowingly as she pierces the final bite of flank steak with her fork and responds, In nature, balance is never passive. It is active, made up of acts of violence and acts of love moments of tenderness and moments of despair. For balance to be maintained, there must always be hunters and the hunted. And with that, Miss Edwards finishes her steak. You know, I haven't decided yet if these people enjoy that or not. I mean, there's definitely a shotgun here. Ooh. Ah, this is the room we're supposed to go to. But I'm a hunter, guys, you know that. And I like guns, I'm not gonna hide that fact. That's pretty legit. Sorry for the super random letter, but I was thinking about you a lot. I mean, just because everywhere I go in Italy, I think Martin would totally love this, so yeah. Mom and Dad took me on a gondola ride, which at first was super awk, because it felt like the third wheel on a date with my parents. But then I started thinking about that time we went fishing and you pranked me, and I fell into the water, 
and I can't imagine a better revenge than pushing you off a gondola in Venice as the gondolier and all of Italy watch. Oh, have you heard any Italian trap? It's the music I've never even heard of. It's mellow but has this sick beat and it's sad but super pretty. I think you'd dig it. There's so much more I want to tell you, but that's going to have to wait for when I see you. And you may be getting a present, so you'll definitely want to see me. But now that I'm in high school, I'm so old. We'll be able to hang out during lunch again. But not as old as you. So yeah, I'm missing you, I guess. Arvita say goodbye, Alex. Dang, dude, so he's got a letter from when we were like in middle school? And look, there's him and us. What am I looking for again? The hook thing? Or is that what he was talking? Oh, I need a ladder. Hook ladder. This is like a much needed cutscene to calm my ass down. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm still not convinced this isn't a prank, but fine, I'll go check out the attic. Ooh, what's that? There's so much crap up here. Well, you know what they say. One man's crap is another man's vinyl collection. What? Vinyls? Hold up, let me grab this, uh, shuttle real quick. A bronze shuttle. Dude, look at all of these guns. This is my kind of place. What am I looking for, dude? Am I just talking to you? Oh, here we go. Whoa. How long have you had these? You like them? They're incredible. Which one's your favorite? Jesus. Huh? Oh, right. Just, uh, pretend Oh, so we don't this. like guns. They're all your mom's? Yep. I know she likes to hunt, but this is... This is awesome. A lot. A lot. I mean, she doesn't like hunting. She doesn't? She does it for work. I thought she worked in, like... Uh, wildlife management. Yeah, which sometimes means population control. Population control. If, you know, a species gets out of hand, she says it's the only way to, like, um, maintain balance. You hear that? What? What's happening? sucks and there went our dream it all came crashing down day 119 we're back at it where are we at now All right, there it is, finally. I can get to the camp and get some help. I hope you're there, Dad. Yeah, for Rizzle. Walk a little slower, though. Oh, another diary entry. Come on, one last effort. I'm almost there. The National Guard is near, but can I really trust them? Will they help me? Can they? With those things out there, no place is safe. Yet I have no better option. Okay. There's a lot of sticks on the ground over here. I don't like that. Come and try our fruit cups. Yeah, I kind of like this, guys. I like that I can actually talk to y'all again. I don't feel as nervous about it. I mean, to be honest with you, I've... it doesn't really matter. I'm going to die either way when we face that flipping creature until I can figure out, you know, how in the hell to get around it. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. You hush your stupid mouth. Oh, what is that? That is a flippin' bear trap. Can I set that? Oh! 
Well, that's not good. Is there bear traps? Oh my god, I'm seeing them. That is ridiculous. There are flipping bear traps. Oh! And see, that's why I turned that off. Can we not touch it? That'd be sweet if we could actually set those. Oh god, look, there's one right there. Can we go over? Oh no. That's not good. Can we go over the wood? Aw, oh, crap. What do we do? Oh, wait. <gasps> yeah, I gotta... I don't know if we should just keep our flashlight out, or... Let's, uh, let's bring this back out. I feel a lot more comfortable holding this than I do that flashlight. National Guard here to help. Oh, dude, look, there's flipping birds. All right, I'm here, but is anyone else the National Guard? Dad? I didn't really want to have to, for help, come to the radio station. We can't open that. So then what do we do? There's freaking traps everywhere. Can we climb over this and grab that? Yes. There we go. Okay, but first we got to get down here. Grab our little, uh, whatever the hell that thing's called. Oh, there's a, there's a light in there. The hell is that? A faulty light or is someone there? I should check out the flashing light. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, there's another freaking person. Okay, what'd that say? I'm almost there. The National Guard is near. This can't be good. Something must have happened here. The place looks deserted, but I saw a light coming from a bungalow. But what if it's a trap? What if it's Laura? Damn, I can't ignore it. I have to go check it out. Dude, that would suck if it was Laura and she put a freaking shotgun in your face. Okay. There's freaking dead people everywhere. And it doesn't look like I can go that way. Oh hell, there's a freaking tripwire. Can we touch it? Oh dude, that sucks so bad. Okay. But luckily, we can go this way. Dude, these damn traps are everywhere. Can we go up here? No. Let's pull our flashlight back out. It seems like we're walking pretty quietly, so... Uh oh. Only put out positivity. Thank nature for the gifts. I don't really want to read that. Oh, one. Yeah, let's go ahead and change this out. 
We have some extra batteries. Hey, counselors, I'm so excited to meet you. Now, you might be thinking, but Carrie, you met me when we interviewed. And that's true, to a degree. I met who you were before you came to Omar the Otter's Outdoor Adventure Camp. But I truly believe everyone who comes through my camp leaves a different person. A better person. How can I make such a bold claim? Simple. It all comes down to the Otter way. O. Only put out positivity. T. Thank nature for its gifts. T. Try harder. E. Expect greatness. And R. Remember to have fun. If you really embrace the Otter way, I promise that you'll discover the real you. Plus, to put on my boss hat for a sec, it's your job to champion the Otter way to all our campers. Being a kid has never been more confusing. Social media consumes kids' lives 24-7, but not at Omar the Otter's Outdoor Adventure Camp. You will help our campers connect with nature, maybe for the first time. Now the first step in embracing the Otter way will be the most difficult. I need you to turn off your cell phones. I know, I know, it seems extreme, but when the campers arrive, you'll have to collect their phones, and it would look pretty hypocritical if you still had yours on you. Bring your phones to the admin building by 3 p.m. See you soon. I know we'll have an otterly fantastic summer. Carrie West, camp leader and owner, Omar the Otter's Outdoor Adventure Camp. I don't really know why, but I really enjoyed saying that. All right, we need to, uh, possibly, possibly, oh, there's more, find some pills or take our inhaler. What's this? Counselors, I found a bear trap near the camp. Yes, a bear trap. Luckily, I was able to set off the bear trap by throwing a bottle at it. It made a super loud noise, so to be honest, I'm kind of surprised none of you came to make sure I was okay. <laughs> she's kind of, uh, she's kind of narcissistic already. A bear trap this close to camp is utterly unacceptable. We must do a full sweep before the campers get here. Carrie. <laughs> I mean, like, I like her and I don't like her. She seems a bit extreme. All right, so there's, there's a trap right there. But it looks like it might be low enough. Maybe to go underneath it? You would think maybe we could, you know, climb over. But it looks like you can't quietly walk that way, so we're just gonna... We're gonna risk it. We're gonna try to limbo underneath this thing. I don't know. Oh, there's a dual one right there. There's another one. They're dead. Every single counselor. Thank God the campers aren't here yet. But Freddy and Billy, Jason, even Carrie, all killed by... By what? All I know is I'm terrified. But I have to try to reach someone. To get help. Only Carrie knew the code to this stupid safe with all our cell phones in it. So I have to make for the radio station. If I don't make it, I hope someone finds this note. And if you do, please tell my parents, Sid and Lori Carpenter, that I tried to get back to them. I tried. Gail. Well, that really, uh... That escalated extremely quickly. Silence is safety. You're damn right. What we got over here? Omar the Otter, pre-recorded announcements. Do not record. It says do not record something over it. That's not living the otter way. I'm trying to hold off to find some pills, guys. But I don't know if we're going to get any. I mean, we have three inhalers. No crying, no screaming, no laughing. Again, got hold. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, now it tells me how to do it. Bear traps can be diffused by throwing objects at them. They're noisy, so be careful. Oh, fantastic. I mean, does that mean there's we're going to have to, like, risk our lives? <laughs> 
There's beer bottles. Drama class. Oh, we're gonna have to freaking throw a beer bottle at it, aren't we? What the hell? And so it begins. You shut your stupid mouth. All right, I didn't see where it went. Just let me get over, that's all I care about. Okay. Not gonna walk over that broken glass that we just threw there, that would be stupid. Yeah, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to take an inhaler puff after this. Oh, please don't make me do it, okay. It's windy, it helps us. But there's sand. I think. Yeah. So we can actually walk a little bit. Easy. Easy. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull this back out. Right, so what is this, the radio station? Oh, who is that? Dad? Dad? Oh, it's our freaking dad! Oh, thank God. Are you? I'm fine. Yeah, it was uh, an accident. Did, did Laura do that? The hospital was attacked. God, everything happened so quickly. Did anyone else make it out? All that matters is that you're safe. Laura followed me. She's not well. Yeah. But locking you up, I never thought. What are we doing? What are Alex. we looking at? She knows about. Glove. Shred to shred. Yeah, we're not taking that off. Okay. Oh no, here, put these on. No thanks. Don't be silly. I'm not. That can't protect you. Stop it. Alex? I I'm sorry. I, I, I just. Freaking Martin gave it to me. I can't. <laughs> oh god, dude, we're freaking out. This is. He was my... This is such an emotionally charged game, guys. Multi-tool? I want one like that. That thing looks freaking sweet. What? Now, oh, I just remembered. Laura got me this. For my birthday. I found these. I can direct you to the antenna. I can talk, but you need to... Stay quiet. Tap the mic once for yes, twice for no. Got it? Good. Be 
safe. You too. So wait, wait, we just put like earbuds in or something? It's kind of what it sounded like. All right, just follow dad's instructions. We got to get to the watchtower. Look, there's freaking pills we could have taken. All right. Stay calm. Dad is alive. His leg is injured, but he's alive. I don't know for sure what happened to him, but it doesn't matter now. Not anymore. All I want is to fix the antenna, figure out where the NG is headed, and find a safe place for us. We drew a heart around our father. Okay. So, there's more pills right there. We don't need those. I wonder if we can climb this, maybe? Where's the tower? Can we see it from here? No, we can't. Okay, let's try to climb. Oh, come on. There's a flipping climbing wall. Rock. <laughs> Why can we not climb? Well, I guess we're going to get back to... I don't know if we can go back that way or not. No, there's a trap. I wonder if we can... Yeah, it's exactly what I want to do. Okay. Rope traps. To quietly diffuse rope traps, interact with them. Every trap will require you to press F or hold or R. Oh my god. Therefore, pay attention to it. I mean... Oh, there we go. So... Oh my god. Well, that sucked. Okay, I think I've got this figured out. There we go. And we're going to try that again. Guys, that took me so long to figure out. Like, I don't... Oh, God. I'm like super embarrassed by it. Did you do it? Yeah. Good, Alex. Very good. All right, go forward. You'll reach a wooden signpost. When you do, go left. All right, we're gonna go left. But first, I've got to take a puff, man. Unless there's some pills up here. I think I can stand up right here, though. It looks like it's sand. No, it's really not. He said go left. We're going to have to take a puff after this. Dude, look at this. I have a feeling we're going to be freaking traversing this. There's the radio station. I can see the sign. So that means the antenna's up there somewhere. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a puff. This thing's going to come after us inside here. I already know it. Shut up, Dad. It's freaking right here. We should we should have freaking tapped that thing like three or four times. Oh god. He ran off. 
I swear to God, if we cannot climb that. Oh my god, dude! How many of these things are there? Okay. Um, bird watching. I don't really think there's anything right there. It doesn't look like it anyway. Uh-oh. Did we not go the right way? What's down here? Guys, I don't think we went the right way. Wait a minute. Alex, did you find it? Your mother would be proud. Well, she was always proud of you. Shut up, Dad. You're gonna make me cry. Yeah, we turned off all the yellow paint, so it's kind of... I actually have to look for things now. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Alex, I can't protect you. Be careful, please. Dad, shut your stupid mouth. Okay. Oh, he freaking... Yeah, but that doesn't hurt him, does it? Oh my god. <laughs> He's getting pissed off. Oh! I'm dead. I'm dead. I kicked the can. I don't know how we made it through there. I really thought as soon as we kicked that can and we were dead. Oh my god. So we got- oh my god, we gotta get power running? There's a, I just saw it. There's a door right here. Again, the benefit of if you had like a little dropper of like that three in one oil or some, some WD 40 in a situation like this. Take notes, guys. That's how you survive it. Aren't the doors loud? It is a shelf, though. Can we... Can we go over it?
Oh my god, there is a freaking trap on the other side. There was a freaking trap. We had to look for traps now on the other side of freaking windows. Of course we do. Of course we gotta throw a freaking bottle at it. Set it off and then get inside. I mean, do we? Oh God. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, we're in a dusty... Oh, God. Okay. It is so dusty in here. See anything on the other side? Oh no. We're about to have an asthma attack. Alright, we're gonna save those. And of course, of course, there's a guy right here. What do you have on you? Oh, is that his kid? What is that? Ashley had a laugh that could make birds sing. She loved musicals and would sing along to cast albums, but she would only sing the villain songs. She was the gentlest kid you ever met. I asked her why she'd want to sing the bad guy parts. Ashley said, being the hero's boring. Everybody knows how to be good. But being evil? That's something you can only do in your imagination. It's the only time I knew her to be completely and utterly wrong. A lot of people don't know the first thing about being good. A lot of people make this world a colder, crueler place without even thinking about it. Like you. As long as you get what you want, a thousand Ashleys could starve could be left so hungry that they cry out and then and then I don't blame the monsters I blame you whether or not you're actually one of the raiders who took everything from me you're just as guilty because if you're still alive that means you stole something from someone who needed it who died without it but you're not going to get away with it not anymore the national guards left now it's just you and me I want you to avoid the first trap and the second and the third I want you to believe you will get out of here alive. I want you to hope. And then I want you to know how it feels when hope dies. Oh my god, it was probably a really bad idea to freaking read that letter. Look at our lungs. Oh my god. Here we go. Why can't I use it? I can't use it. <gasps> oh my god. It won't let me use it. Why the hell would it not let me use that inhaler? It just freaked me the hell out. I get out of this room oh my god
and our lungs are freaking out again. We gotta find some pills. We gotta find something. We are not doing good. Not doing good at all. I'm about to have a freaking asthma attack right here. Oh my god. What does that say? Whitehall. We can't let the power go out like this. If we do, we can't get through this damn gate. And then we're screwed if something goes wrong with the antenna. Remember, when the power goes out, you need to restart it in the warehouse. It's our only option for powering the watchtower, so we better pray that it doesn't crap out on us entirely. I'll restart it this time, but we cannot let this happen again. Oh, I didn't even read that. That probably would have been helpful. Guys, we are not doing good. Like, I can't even see, like, if there's glass. Oh, God. How do we get up here? Ah. Uh. Wait a minute. Well, we're supposed to go around. I'm making things worse. We just need to go ahead and trigger this so I can hopefully fix it. We're going to trigger it whenever we carry this dang ladder. this side yep so what happens if we have an asthma attack going up the ladder please let there be something up here I don't oh it's like things got really quiet Oh god, we got pills and an inhaler. Okay. Some keys. Alright, walkie-talkie. Where's that hat again? Oh my god, we gotta... <laughs> We're gonna have to ration our freaking stuff. Okay. Let's turn that off. Let's put this back on. Let's do this. Dude, what if this thing started screaming? You did it. The radio's working. Listen. This is Task Force Empire to all available units. If you're receiving this message, convene at the harbor in Clinton. That's freaking good to know. Okay, so... 
the message. Yes, I fixed the antenna. Oh shit, it worked. Dad was right. The National Guard left for the town of Clinton to get on boats and sail for islands where the creatures can't reach them. But are we too late? Did they even make it? What's important is that we have a direction and even hope. Okay, back to Dad. This message convened at the harbor in Clinton. Did you hear that? How long has it been since they recorded that? That doesn't matter. It's our best bet. I'll pack. Meet me at the station. Okay. Oh, are our lungs fixed? I think our lungs got fixed. No, they did not. Those freaking pills didn't do shit. Okay. So we gotta try to make it back now. Oh crap, where do we go? Oh. I went the wrong way. What's new? Easy peasy. I think we can actually walk a little bit louder. We're gonna scare these freaking birds and everything's gonna go to hell. Watch. Yep. We go this way? Nope. Oh no, we can't walk that fast. That's way too close. Okay. Oh my god. Just put the gun away. Jesus, you really think I there are raiders nearby. I would never hurt you. The hospital. If you had just listened to me, we would have been safe. Alex too. You locked her up. To protect her. From who? Herself. Everyone she loves ends up dead. Dude, that is Crazy. Martin, gone because of her and this baby. You're a doctor, you know its chances. With Alex's asthma, this pregnancy would be dangerous under the best circumstances. I will do everything in my power to save my grandchild. Our grandchild. Julia's grandchild. So where is she? I told you. I don't know. Wait. What is that? Okay, so, sorry guys, I didn't mean not to talk, but so I was just trying to listen. So basically, she just showed up, somehow dad weaseled his way out of it, and she left to go to the harbor because she thinks that's where we're going to be. Oh no. Okay, let's, let's just bring this back out. I'm telling you, dude, we're going to see her and this shit's going to get real. We got a bear trap. We don't know what happened to that guy. Dude, please, will a bathroom be open? No. No. I really need some more freaking pills. Or an inhaler. Is that a brick? Oh my god, please don't make me have to throw anything. Laura, let go of me. <gasps> no. Oh no. Don't be stupid. <gasps> what just happened? Right. We're gonna pick that brick up. Cause we already know. They're giving us bricks. Something's about to happen. Uh oh. Oh god! Oh! What the hell? All 
Alright guys, so I do feel like I kind of cheated right there. If you notice, my lungs are much better. So I guess when you die, it resets everything. There's bricks everywhere, so that means... That means this thing's gonna... It's about to come out. It's gonna come out. Uh oh <gasps> No! You stupid bitch! Eater! Eater! Yes! <laughs> okay, gotta be quiet. Oh, she got away! Are you freaking kidding me, dude? We've literally lost everyone that we love. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Oh, shot through the heart. And we're too late. This game's given love a bad name. <laughs> God, dude. We gotta be quiet. We gotta be quiet. We've only got one reason to live. We got a baby in us. Martin's baby. What? What do I do? I don't have time to think. I need to get out of here. Okay. God almighty, dude. Now what? We are so close. I'm freaking pissed. I hope we get to shoot her in the freaking face. Alright, there were- there were pills in there. We need inhalers. Oh my god. All right, I don't see anything. Oh. Oh, no. Yep, there's a brick. This is it. Let me go ahead and pick that up. Oh, God. All right. It looks like we got to get... Maybe over there, I don't know. There's some white light over there, too. Where is he going? I wonder if I can like make him. Oh no, we can't do that. Like make him go through that that trap, you know? Okay. Look, I don't even care. There's freaking pills right here. We gotta take them. I can't be doing this. Grab that bottle. Oh, please don't come over here. Don't come over here.
Man, when it does that, I really honestly think it's coming right at me. It's right behind me. God, dude. Okay. Can we go in that way? There's probably a flipping bear trap right here. What do you think? Bear trap? Oh my god, thank you. Alright, there's gotta be something in here. Oh. Oh, there's keys. We probably needed to come in here. Alright, as long as he can't come in here, I think we're okay. How many inhalers do we have? Alright, we got keys. Got a beer bottle. I don't see anything right there. I know there's a, uh, there's a brick or something on the other side of this. Alright, where is he at? Alright, he is way over there. Can we... Oh, wait. You see that? That's a ladder. We can't grab that, can we? Yes, we can. So how do we get out? Oh, that means we're gonna... Oh my god, guys. Oh no. Alright, so we're kind of just... We got a ladder. We got to figure out where that ladder's got to go. Because I don't know. I mean, he's still over here. This game is stupid. It's so stupid. It's really not. Oh, he is right there. Now, in the last one... Oh, we can't. So where do we use that ladder? That if I had this microphone turned on, I'm gonna go check this out. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. Okay. So what I was trying to say is, if I had this microphone turned on, every time that thing made that loud noise, I'd probably die. Let's just be honest here, guys. I don't know how to do this, though.
Oh, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. You just stay right there. He's gonna bust this freaking door, watch. Oh. Oh my god! No! 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 I cannot believe that just happened. I mean, luckily it put me right back here, but are you kidding me? He just like crawled over and was like, let me eat your ass. Not in those words, but that's how I felt. Stop it. Stop it. You're being stupid. Oh, he is in here. Okay, there's a door there. And we all know it's not that simple. Oh, God bless it. I don't have enough freaking stuff to get through this. Please be inhalers. Please be inhalers. I don't know what that is. That's a tape. That's an inhaler though. Cave sound recording attempt 42 or attempt 12. Attempt 12. Bats are cool, right? No, they're not. They're loud. And I want to read this stuff. Wessler, it's been too long. Corporal Shavita's not coming back, and with these survivors here now, someone's gonna make a noise and get us all killed. My money's on the hunter. If that happens, the Corporal's sacrifice will be for nothing. We need to make a decision. What are we doing? Where are we going? Whitehall. Okay, so this place is freaking full of dust. I don't know if we can actually walk any louder. Alright, we're out of the dust though, so that's good. That's good, right? Oh my god. We can walk a little slower now that we're out of dust, but there's more dust in there. Okay. I, like, I don't even know why I'm trying to be so dang quiet. I'm literally hunched over, guys. <laughs> Literally hunched over. That was got that's that was like the worst sound ever. Oh, it's a waterfall. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this looks like a good spot to end things for today. But don't worry, we'll come back. And again, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And if you are, please don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a small comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. But now it's that time. Stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.